Hey guys, we're coming to you from on the road in the RV. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tick that bell so you get notified when we upload new videos. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. In this video, we're going to give you an update on our journey to Alaska. You see what I'm saying? So guys, our travel started out with a whole lot of rain. We kept going, ended up running into the construction on I-40 and traffic was pretty much at a standstill. We did get to see some ice hanging off the sides of the mountain. But once we got through that, we made it into Tennessee, and somewhere along the way, we ended up losing the spare tire to the tow dolly. Don't know where it went. It's just gone. Uh, in addition to that, one of the hub caps came off of the hub, slung grease everywhere, so we scrounged around at a couple auto parts stores and finally found one that sold some bearing buddies. Uh, went in, bought a set of those, uh, put it on in their parking lot. Luckily, we had a down moment when it wasn't pouring down rain. Uh, I was thankful for that so we didn't get soaking wet. But once we got that done, I had to clean everything up, try to get all the grease and stuff off of it so it quit slinging all over the side of the car and just to be able to keep an eye on it because I was really concerned that it had slung all the grease out of the bearings, but everything seemed to be good. Um, so we cleaned it up and got ready to rock and roll. And sure enough, we rolled into Missouri and it was pouring down rain. Coming through Nebraska, we were forced to go north quicker than we wanted due to winter storm Omer coming in, gonna dump a lot of snow and a lot of high winds. That put us into South Dakota which actually worked out pretty good because we got to see Mount Rushmore. And it also gave us an opportunity to see just how dirty the car and the RV had gotten so far in our travels. Not to mention the fact that we had a nice rock chip in the windshield that we were gonna have to repair. Once the crack was fixed, we went over to Billings, Montana and got to see just a small portion of winter storm Ulmer in the form of a light snowfall. That worked out great for us up until the point that we started having some generator issues. We finally realized that our generator was producing almost 170 volts at one point. And thank goodness we had a surge guard in place, otherwise it probably would have fried everything electronic inside the RV. Now we went to Cummins in Billings and they tried to get it to act up and it wouldn't act up for them, so we decided to move on. We made it over to Conrad and ended up with the same problem again. So we continued on toward Canada through Montana and got to see some amazing landscapes. I mean, just the sheer aspect of seeing the mountains far off in the distance and the flatlands covered in snow. You know, everybody says there's nothing in Montana, but I think coming through when there's this much snow on the ground and the clear blue skies with the light clouds just really made it an epic journey for us. As the day went on, it continued to prove to be just as an amazing view as the sun started to set. We made our way to a rest area and stopped off only to wake up to find us three degrees in the windshield frozen over on the inside. And once it was cleared off, we were ready to make our way into Canada. Hey guys, I appreciate y'all tuning in the first leg of our adventure. It's been awesome. Be sure and give us a thumbs up on this video. Hit that subscribe button and tick that bell so you're notified when we upload new videos. If you want to see even more, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook. I'll link those down below, and that way you can ride along on the journey with us.